Hi guys, it is Denise and I am back once again with my fourth box opening for today. Today is Wednesday, May the 24th, 2023. It is a really busy day here in the nursery and we are about to do our fourth box opening for today. We've already did three and these are those three beautiful babies. It's the Peaches Scope and the Peaches Scope is by Cassie Brace. And she is 21 inches. We have the beautiful Tristan here. And he is beautiful. And he is Tristan Skull by Janine Delane. Janine. Janie Delane. <laughs> and he is 26 inches. And then we have the beautiful Ruben Scope here. And Ruben Scope is... Um, by Myra Garza and she is 23 inches and this peach scope here is Pia Sakura. this is Tristan Isaiah and this is the beautiful Raina Annalise all right so those are three babies that we've done so far and we are now on the fourth one just had to do a recap <laughs> so let's get started um Try to do a little element of surprise. Let's see. Um, again, we have a hard time getting these babies out of the plastic. But I'm going to turn away the camera just a little bit. to see if I can get this baby out of the plastic. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Okay, we are back. Now again, they come with the typical um, bottle pacifier and diaper from the NPK store that we have with pretty much all of our babies. Let's put those to the side. Actually, right there is fine. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I got the baby out of the plastic. Now the thing with this particular baby as well as with Sandy, they're a lot smaller than I thought they would be. But it's not going to be a problem because I'll probably change the bodies out on these babies. But honestly, they were not that big. They just look larger because they're toddler babies. And online, they just look like they would be much taller, bigger babies like Tristan is. But they're a lot smaller. So this little girl, look what a cute little socks on and little shoes here. Um... <clears throat> Let's see. She's painted very well. We're going to get to her face in a few minutes, but she's a lot smaller than I thought she would be. She's very, very detailed in her painting. As you guys can see, her vinyl is soft. Of course, I'll have to go in and wait this pretty girl. I'm going to go ahead and reveal her. This pretty girl right here is, look at that. Her head feels kind of heavy. She is the Zoe Sculpt. She is Zoe. I thought she was so cute. Her face is so mature. She has a very mature face <laughs> for her to be a little girl, a little toddler. But I thought she was so pretty um, online. They have her dress so adorable. I love her dress. Look at that face. So she looks a little different to me from the actual scope that I've seen. But I think it just could be just the painting because I've seen so many of the babies and they all look different. But she is absolutely adorable. She has this little side little look like she's kind of leaning her head to the side. It's the way she sculpted. I love her blonde hair. Her little hair here and it's rooted. I thought her hair was so cute and like I said she looked like because of the way they had her pose like she was a bigger baby than what she actually is she is not as big as I thought she would be she is a standing baby though so let's see if we can get her to stand up so you know she looks like to me that she would be a bigger baby but she's really not that big this is the Zoe skull 
Oh, she is so cute. Having a hard time standing up. Of course, I'll go in and I'll weight her. But she's a lot smaller, guys, than I thought she would be. I thought she would be at least about 28, um, 27, 28 inches. But she's really not that big. But she is super cute. Her painting is done exquisitely. <laughs> it is beautiful. I mean, she has so much blushing and... um. Just so much detail to her painting. She's absolutely beautiful. I love her hair. I love her blonde hair and her beautiful blue eyes. Her hair is so cute. Let's see if we can turn her around a little bit. She has curls. Ooh, watch it, Zoe. She has a head full of pretty blonde curls. And it is the regular, typical doll hair, but it is pretty. It's really, really soft. Her hair is really soft. And she is adorable. She's adorable. Her side um, profile is cute. <laughs> and she is absolutely beautiful. I think she looks very much like the actual doll baby that I've seen online. Like I said, I love the way they've gotten her dress. And she has a nice doe body. And actually, her body is pretty much proportionate to her limbs. Her limbs are not that long. I just, in my mind, and think from the way that they had her posed online that she would be a lot bigger a taller baby but she's really not that tall so and that's fine that's okay i got enough huge babies <laughs> this particular baby is the zoe scope or the zoe scope by natalie blick and she is 26 inches she's supposed to be 26 inches this baby is not 26 inches She's probably right at 23, maybe 24 inches, if that. She's not She's not 26 inches. She's a lot smaller. Um, and I really probably wouldn't even change her body because it looks like the body they have her on is pretty proportionate to her limbs. Um, she does have full limbs, at least in her legs. I could put her on a larger body, which would cause her to be a little longer, and I might do that. Um, just to, to give her a little bit more height and she does have four limbs but she's absolutely adorable I love her I think she's so cute <laughs> I love her expression she has this cute little smirk it's almost like her little head is turned to the side so she looks a little different from the actual sculpt that I've seen online um, but I think this particular version is the, of course, the Ellie Express version is absolutely beautiful. I think she is so cute. She's very well done. She's painted beautifully. Um, her painting is very detailed. Her expression is so cute. And she does look a lot like, like herself to me. Um, none of the babies are going to be the exact, of course. Me, and, and, you know, painting is done differently. And it's all um, in the artistry. Although these babies are mass produced and they are manufactured. Um, it's still art. Um, I would say. I would think. And she's beautiful. So weigh in guys. Tell me what you think. I know this is a lot. I'm asking a lot of you guys today. We are really busy in the nursery today. I'm asking a lot. But she is adorable. Tell me what you think guys. Let me stand her up again. Can you stand up for me, Zoe? I'll have to definitely go in and weight her. And that will allow her to stand and make sure I don't put too much weight in her head. Or any at all in her head. But yeah, her limbs look, seem like they would be a little bit longer. Um, and she would be a little bigger. So I might end up putting her on a larger body just so that she'll be a little bit more proportionate. And a little bit more true to her 26 inches that she should be. I even thought that her limbs would be a little thicker and bigger. But she is adorable. I think she's absolutely beautiful. I will probably change her body out. As well as Sandy. I know I will be definitely changing Sandy's body out. And putting both of them on a larger body. And um, when I get ready to weight them. But right now I think they're beautiful. I think they're absolutely adorable. Say hi. So my name reveal for the Zoe Sculpt by Natalie Blick at 26 inches. And this baby is probably about 23, 24 inches. Um, 
her name for me is Zoe Destiny. So she is the Zoe Sculpt by Natalie Blake. And my name for her, her is Zoe, Zoe Destiny. She looks like a Zoe to me. And I don't know if some people pronounce it as Zoe, Z-O-E, or Zoe. I pronounce it as Zoe, and I spell it Z-O-E-Y. So she is Zoe Destiny, and she is the Zoe Sculpt by Natalie Blake. And she is approximately 23 to 24 inches. She's supposed to be about 26 inches. But she's clearly not that big. And she is a standing baby. Um, at some point, once I get her <laughs> proportion, get her, her body together, she might be able to stand a little bit for me. <laughs> All right, guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so very much for sharing in this absolute beautiful moment with me for the box opening of my beautiful girl, Zoe Destiny, which is the Zoe Sculpt by Natalie Blick at approximately 26 inches. This baby here is standing box approximately 23 to 24 inches. All right, guys, so she is a little shorter. That's this particular um, one that I received. I don't know um, if the one you get might be the same way, but you can always put on a larger body to give her a little bit more length and make her a little bit more proportionate and a little bit more true to the actual height that she's supposed to be. And that's probably what I'll do to both her and Sandy. All right, guys, again, like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You know, take a few minutes, leave me a comment if you like. Tell me what you think. Weigh in and tell me how you like this pretty girl. I think she's absolutely adorable. I'm going to take a few pictures of her. I am going to get ready for the next and last box opening for today so yeah guys thank you so very much for being here and i will see you all in the very next video Alrighty, tell them bye zoe zoe tell them bye so we'll see you guys in a little bit so we'll see you later oh she is adorable and they have her dress so cute i love 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 her already she is so pretty. Hey, pretty girl. I love her hair and her eyes. And she's painted so well.